Okay, book number two. Ah, I thought this would be a good one. I love the Berenstain Bears. This one's called The Berenstain Bears Count Their Blessings. And this is something very important that we can all do. Find things that we are thankful for. Blessings are things that are good in our life, things that we're thankful for. So we're gonna read about how they count their blessings. Okay, all set? All right, here we go. Mama, said Sister Bear one day after school, may I go over to Lizzie's house to play? Yes, you may, said Mama Bear, but be sure not to leave a mess for Lizzie's mom and be sure to be home in time for supper. As Mama watched Sister skipping happily over the hill to Lizzie's house, she sighed. She knew exactly what was going to happen when Sister got home, and it wasn't just when she got home from Lizzie's house. It was the same thing that happened when she got home from Anna's house or Queenie's house. Anna's got her own phone in her room, Sister would say, or Queenie's got her own phone and a TV in her room. But Lizzie's house was the hardest. That's because Lizzie had the biggest collection of Barbie dolls ever. But you have a Barbie doll, Mama would say, and your Barbie has lovely clothes. But Lizzie has lots of Barbies, complained Sister. She's got high fashion Barbie, and super sport Barbie, and tropical Barbie, and motorcycle Barbie, and just married Barbie, and... Mama, this is when she usually said, please, Sister, I've heard enough about Lizzie's Barbie collection. It's a lot of dolls, huh? Hmm. It wasn't much better with Brother Bear. Of course, it wasn't Barbie dolls with Brother. It was video games for his Game Bear player. When Brother came home from Cousin Freddy's house, it was, you should see how many video games Freddy has. He's got Space Avenger and Rocket Rangers and Killer Coyote and on and on and on and on. Mama looked around. Where was Brother? She asked Papa Bear when he came in from his shop. Brother asked if he could go over to Cousin Fred's, he said. I told him, sure, he'll be back in time for supper. Hmm, there was a distant rumble of thunder. He said, there must be a storm coming. Ah, oh, that's right, thought Mama. With sister at Lizzie's and brother at Fred's, there was bound to be a storm coming, a storm of complaints about how many bear bees Lizzie had and how many video games Fred had. Mama got upset just thinking about it. But as the thunder got louder and the storm came closer, she began to worry. She was about to call to have the cub sent home when she heard them coming up the front steps. They came in the door just ahead of the rain. It didn't take long for the complaining to start. Uh-oh. What do you think they're going to complain about? Mm, let's see. Oh, Lizzie just got equestrian Barbie, said Sister. It's brand new. It comes with its own clothes and a beautiful horse. You think that's something, said Brother. Cousin Fred's got three new video games. Three! Now look, you two, said Mama. I've heard quite enough about what you don't have. It would be very nice if you would start appreciating the things you do have. It's called counting your blessings. Hmm. Like what? asked Sister. Yes, said Brother. Like what? Just then, there was a big streak of lightning followed by a big clap of thunder, and the rain started coming down really hard. The cubs weren't exactly afraid of lightning and thunder, but this looked as if it was going to be a really big storm, and they were a little nervous. To start thinking, boys and girls, what are some things that you are thankful for? Blessings that you have in your life? Boy, there are lots of them when I think about it, huh? We'll talk about that at the end. Well, said Mama, like this warm, cozy house that protects us against the weather. That's one blessing. Now it was really pouring outside. The wind was whipping and the curtains and blowing the rain into the house. Mama and Papa rushed over, closing all the windows. There was another lightning flash and another loud thunderclap. Crack! 
So thankful for their nice warm home. I'm very thankful for that, boys and girls. How about you? Mm -hmm. And we have each other, said Mama, bringing the cubs close. That's another blessing. That's when the biggest lightning flash yet lit up the sky. It was followed by a clap of thunder that shook the air. Kaboom! Yipes, cried sister, jumping into Mama's arms. Help, cried brother, jumping into Papa's arms. I think there's our biggest blessing, huh, boys and girls, that we have each other, that we have our families, right? Mm-hmm. And you've got a Mama and a Papa who love you, said Mama. The light started to flicker, and after a few flickers, they went out. And you have a Papa who knows how to make a fire in the fireplace, said Papa. Soon he had a cheery fire roaring. And a Mama who knows how to make cocoa, said Mama. And she hung a pot over this fire. Soon they were sitting there in the glow, sipping hot sweet cocoa. What a blessing that was. Oh, lots of things there to be thankful for, huh? Yeah. The storm kept getting worse. The lightning flashed brighter and brighter. The thunder crashed louder and louder. That last flash was awful close, said sister. Nothing to worry about, said Papa. It was at least 5,000 feet away. Really? How can you tell? asked brother. Easy, said Papa. You see, sound travels a lot slower than light. So when you see the flash, start counting the seconds. One, two, three, until you hear the thunder. Then you figure about a thousand feet for each second. Just then there was a flash. The cubs started counting. One, two, three. On four, there was a big thunderclap. That flash was about 4,000 feet away, said sister. Very good, said Papa. Outside, the storm raged on. But inside the sturdy tree house, the bear family was cozy and warm. As the storm grew worse, they sipped their cocoa and counted the thunder. The counting helped. Papa explained what lightning and thunder were. Lightning was a big electrical flash that traveled between the clouds and burned up the air, and thunder was the sound of air rushing into the space. That was helpful, too. Gradually, the storm ceased. The rain slowed and stopped, and the lights came back on. The bear family sighed a big sigh of relief. Then sister started counting again. Why are you counting, dear? asked Mama. The storm is over. I'm doing what you said, said Mama, counting my blessings. Hmm. Lots of things to be thankful for, huh? The lights are back on. The storm has passed. They're all safe and together. So while Mama and Papa set the table and Mama started supper, Sister went upstairs to play with her doll and Brother tried to reach the next level on his video game. You know, dear, said Papa, there are birthdays and Christmas coming. Do you have any ideas for the Cubs? I thought perhaps a just married bear be for sister and a video game for brother. What do you think? I think we should count our blessings too, said Papa. Hmm. We have many blessings to count, boys and girls, don't we? Yep. And that goes right along with talking about joy, right? Our greatest blessings bring us our greatest joys. So think about that today. What are your big blessings today? Mine are that I am safe in my home like the bears. I have my sons, Noah and Caleb, and Mr. McAdams with me, and we're all safe and healthy and together. We have food to eat, and I'm going to go make some lunch here for them in a few minutes. And I'm very thankful I have all of you that we can still be connected and reach out. And I really enjoy getting your pictures and your videos. So let me know what you do today to bring somebody joy and what your blessings are. Okay? All right. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.